We've done videos on the best meta strikers in Football Manager and the best meta midfielders. Today, we're going to focus on meta defenders, those players that just seem to work really well in the in-game engine because of some specific attributes that they have. What attributes are we looking for, though? Well, let's take Van Dyke for an example. Don't worry, he's not on my list of 10 that we're going to look at. He's maybe a little bit too well known to be included, but he's got great strength, pace, jumping reach. They're the kind of things we're looking for. Really strong physical attributes but aren't really lacking in the mentals and technicals either. We don't want someone that's really tall and fast but maybe can't actually defend. We're looking for those guys that have got great attributes in those areas but also have really strong physicals, whether it is a mixture of everything or they're just great in the air or super fast because I promise you those guys will play so well in the in-game engine. I've had experience with the majority of these. Some of them are your picks and picks that I've found myself but I think we've got players for every kind of save. So with that being said, let's take a look at our first one. This is my only honourable mention of the video. There's 10 other players that we're going to look at that I actually include in my list, but I wanted to cover El Shedil Bichiabu because he is the youngest one in this list, and for that reason, he isn't quite the final article yet. That being said, he has got great attributes, and for about 40 million, he is worth the money at Leipzig, for sure. But he is big, he's very strong physically. Left-footed defender who's good on the ball, but good in the defensive elements too. My only issue is he's injured very early on in your save, and that could really affect his career depending on how he gets on in your save. Very often, I do see him kind of stall, so I'm just going to have him as an honourable mention. If he can recover from that injury, if you're able to get your hands on him and actually give him some game time before it's too late, because at Leipzig, they only consider him a breakthrough prospect, then I promise you, this guy will develop into an elite talent. He just needs the opportunity. The rest of the players that we're going to look at are going to be older players, not necessarily old, but not wonder kids necessarily. So players that are already very good and ready to go. And the first one that I want to cover is Kevin Danzo, the Austrian playing for RC Len out in France. Now he has been an unreal pickup for the last couple of years in Football Manager, formerly of the Bundesliga. He's now playing in France and age 24, he is just the kind of age where he's about to be heading into his prime and I think if you can get your hands on him, you have a player that could be a world-class centre-back. Now ignore these star ratings because we're managing Chelsea and it's comparing it to the other players in the squad. That being said, I do actually think he's probably better than a lot of the defenders that Chelsea have, at least in the FM world, because he's just so, so good physically. He's got everything he needs to work well in this year's in-game engine. He is quick, he is strong, and he's tall. He's got great heading ability as well. He's good on the ball too. Is he the world's best? No, but he is fairly comfortable on the ball. He's got great defensive elements to his game as well. Nice, strong mentals. And this is the kind of profile that we're looking for, because I promise you, if you have a player like this in a semi-decent tactic, he is going to get seven average match ratings. He's going to score plenty of goals from corners if you aim the ball at him. Honestly, if you have this combination of physical attributes with some decent mentals and technicals, you're on for a winner and Kevin Danzo is certainly one of those. Not all of us have the money to buy someone like Danzo though, so a cheaper option is Augsburg's Patrick Pfeiffer. The Ghanaian has only recently signed from the club from Darmstadt in the second tier, but he is a player you should definitely be taking a look at, scout him and see how he gets on. He's 23, still fairly young, but he is so good physically and his technicals are pretty good too. The heading is clearly the highlight with that 17 jump and reach. He's tall, he's strong, and he is quick. But six foot five, he's going to be a nightmare for any attacker to come up against. They're not going to be able to outpace him. They're not going to be able to beat him in the air. He's aggressive, and he's going to score plenty of goals from corners. Do I think he's good enough to play for Real Madrid, Barcelona, Bayern Munich? No, not necessarily. But if you're a relegation team in the Prem or a mid-table Prem team, Patrick Pfeiffer could be a fantastic pickup, especially when you consider he's only going to cost you two or three million, depending on how he does it. Augsburg, of course. Speaking of players from the Bundesliga, my next pick is Jeff Schabot, who is a German 25-year-old playing for Cologne out in the German divisions. He is 25 years old, heading towards his prime, and whilst he isn't as quick as the other defenders we have looked at, he is brilliant in the air, he's determined, he's got the 16 heading, the 17 jumping reach, he's strong as well, and he's got really, really good mental attributes to go alongside it. Like I say, for these players to be good, they don't need to be quick, strong, and tall, as good as that might be. They just need to have some of those elements to their game and they will get some great performances in the match engine. Now he's got great work rate as well, marking ability is there, tackling is at 15, positioning is 14 and it's good that tackling is so high because that's one of the attributes that's quite hard to work on in a player. Now he as a centre back is left footed but is actually able to play in a variety of different areas of the pitch but I think you've got to use him as a centre back, left footed defender, trying to play the ball out or even maybe just focus him in on that central defender role because his passing 
passing, his 12, his vision's 10, his technique's 11. That's fine, but it's maybe not super usable at a high level. So ask him to purely focus on the defensive side of his game, and you can see, based on those highlighted attributes, he's going to be phenomenal. The most expensive player in this list, though, is one I've had plenty of experience with, and he's actually one of the younger ones. This is Abakar Silla, the 20-year-old Ivorian international playing for Strasbourg, who you can usually pick up on a free at the end of his contract in 2028, but a lot of you won't want to wait that long. But if you're a top-level team, keep a scout on him, and within a couple of years, you'll be able to get an absolute bargain here. Even if he is 30 million, he'll still be worth the money because he gets game time right away, he begins to develop, and physically, even though he hasn't got one standout attribute just yet, you can see he's really well balanced, and within a few years, all of those attributes will be through the roof. He combines that with amazing leadership, which isn't necessarily something we're looking for in this video, but for a 20-year-old to have 19 leadership is crazy. He's aggressive, he's brave, he's maybe not the best when it comes to the technical side of the game, but again, he's 20. He's got a lot of years to catch up to the other players we've looked at. He's got 14 heading, 13 marking, 13 tackling, not too bad at all. And whilst he isn't the best with the ball at his feet, he could definitely be trained to have, say, 13 passing, 11 vision, 13 technique, whatever it might be. I do think there is a bright future there for him in the defence, even if you do ask him to try and play the ball out. But realistically, if you focus in on the defensive elements of his game purely as a central defender, maybe even a no-nonsense defender, he will be unreal. With that leadership, you've got a captain there, and those physical attributes, give it a couple years, they will be greens everywhere. Before we continue with the rest of the list, though, don't forget to like the video if you are enjoying, and let us know who your favourite defender has been in FM24, and whilst you're down there, why not subscribe to the channel and check out my channel, linked in the description as well. On that channel, I do some Football Manager rebuilds as well as YouTube shorts about wonder kids you might not have heard of, so if that sounds interesting to you, come and check it out, and I'd be massively, massively appreciative, but we've still got five or six players to look at in this list, so let's keep going. And we go from the most expensive option to the cheapest, this is Ho Jose Cordoba, who plays for Levski Zofia out in Bulgaria, where he has been for a few years in FM. You might have heard about him in FM23. He's still a great option in FM24, a Paraguayan international, 22 years of age, that you can pick up for 1 million, who has some great attributes. And whilst he isn't necessarily at the level of some of the others, he's a great pickup because of his price. If he was worth 15, 20 million, I wouldn't be saying he's a great centre back option. I think, though, for the price you're paying, this is probably the best you can get. Being 22, he's got room to grow. He will have that resale value of 20, 30 million if you give him the chance, but he's decent in the air, a very well-rounded prospect physically, some good traits to go alongside him, even if he might not necessarily suit it with only 12 passing and 10 vision, being asked to try long-range passes, but you can try and train that out of his game should you want to. He's a good defensive option for 1 million. Like I say, quality isn't as good compared to the others, but you're not going to expect that for so cheap. The most well-known player in this list, though, has to be Jonathan Tarr, who's just came off a very nearly unbeaten season with Bayer Leverkusen. Obviously, in terms of domestic competitions, they were great. They did lose the final of the Europa League, but Jonathan Tarr got an upgrade in the winter update. He was already good anyway. Now he is unreal for 15 million. This is the kind of player you want to be picking up if you are an elite side like Arsenal, Newcastle, Bayern, that kind of level. You're not getting him if you're Southampton, if you're Leeds, if you're Burnley, whatever it might be. But if you're in, say, a top six in England kind of team, he would be a phenomenal pickup for the fee of 15 million as well you're getting a German international in his prime who's great with the ball at his feet but really good physically as well a leader with great mental attributes he's been around for years but really seems to be making a mark now in the last few seasons and of course there's going to be plenty of suitors and a lot of the Leverkusen players after this year and he is certainly going to be one of those Jonathan Tarr a brilliant sense back for any team aspiring to challenge for the Champions League but if you're a team that's say trying to stay up in the Premier League then a very good sense back pick would be Jordan Tronariga formerly of the Bundesliga, if I remember correct. Yes, he was playing for Hertha Berlin. Now he plays for Ghent out in Belgium. And I definitely did just butcher the pronunciation of his name. But either way, the 25-year-old is heading towards the prime of his career. You can pick him up for free, 4 million quid, let's say. And again, it's the same old story. Great attributes all around. Some really good specific ones as well, like 16 tackling, 16 heading, the aggression, the bravery. Actually quite good with the ball at his feet too. It surprises me that he's rated so much less on these star ratings compared to some of the others, because even though he is a cheap player and maybe not too well known, when you actually look at what he needs to play centre-back, say ball-playing defender, I mean, what could you actually want him to be better at? Maybe the decision-making, the concentration lets him down, but outside of that, he is a phenomenal option. But for three or four million, he's definitely worth the money, and if he plays half decently, you'll be selling him for ten times that in a couple of years. 
Three players to go. We've got two Frenchmen. The first one of those is going to be Isaac Torre, number 95 for FC Lorient out in Ligue 1. Now, this is a player that, I mean, there's one big reason I picked him. He's seven or eight million. Yes, that's fine. His attributes are okay in the mentals and the technicals. He's going to get better over time. But look how big he is. Look at his jumping reach. Combine that with even half decent heading. He's got 14. He's going to be fine. But even if he had 10 heading, he'd score seven or eight goals from a corner a season. With 14 heading, you could look at 10 goals a season from the corners if you can get them right. Because all of these going onto his head, he's going to out jump everyone. He's going to score the header too. He's got really good attributes in the physical departments. Of course, the strength is there. But you think because he's so tall and strong that you lack the pace and whilst he does a little bit it's not at a terrible level it's not completely unworkable and like I say the mentals and technicals really could do with some work but they're not awful either and being 20 he is going to get better over the years he's already playing football for Lorient so it's not like he won't get the chance so scout him keep an eye on him and if you have to pay 15 or 20 million for him in a few years I think you'll be laughing yourself home with the amount of goals that he gets for you. Facundo Medina is our next option also in the French divisions playing for RC Len he's 24 years of age an Argentinian international. Now he doesn't necessarily have one standout physical attribute but he's good in all areas. There's no real weakness but what I love about him is combine that with how good his mentals and technicals are. He's so well-rounded. Their mentals there is not a weakness in his game. In fact there's not even like a eh attribute out of any of them. They're all very good. Composure being the worst at 11. Outside of that there's positioning at 13, anticipation at 13, everything else is pretty much that or higher from what I can see. But 16 teamwork, 18 work great the vision the technique the passing this guy could play defensive midfield comfortably he's got great crossing dribbling first touch heading ability in fact you could probably use him as a left back and be completely fine he could play for the highest level team in the world in my opinion I think he is that good in game and at age 24 he's still got a few years left before he really reaches the peak of his career but my final pick is going to be Dan Axel Zagadou an FM legend over the last few seasons and I am saying that he is a meta defender because he's got everything he needs to do well in game he's got the strong physicals the mentals are good and the technicals are good too and he is only worth seven million but i have to say before i recommend you sign him just be aware his injury record is awful he's got 15 injury proneness as well age 24 that doesn't bode well for his career his natural fitness is at eight so those physical attributes will decline quicker than many people's would so do bear all that in mind i definitely think there's some better options on this list but a stuttgart defender is a decent option still for seven million pounds or so he could play at a pre Premier League mid-table level I would say but again how long that'll be for with that natural fitness and his injury record I don't necessarily know so do bear that in mind but if you can consider that and still think he's a good signing then he will do pretty well for you when called upon if you give any of these guys a chance I'm sure they'll all hit a seven average match rating across the course of a season but let me know who your favorites are in the comments below which defender have you most enjoyed in FM24 thank you for watching smash the like button if you enjoyed it and I'll see you next time goodbye